What's up guys, I'm QSS and today I'll be showing you how you can make site type samples. I'll be breaking this tutorial down into three steps, the first one being the exact presets and plugins that I used to make this sample and the exact context library that sample makers like Sakai and Henny Major, members of 808 Mafia, always use when they are sending out samples for salsa. The second step would be the music theory behind this sample and the third one, my mixing and mastering process. And without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So now let's start by talking about the exact presets and plugins that I used to make this sample. So for this melody, I actually used four instances of Philharmonic 2 on the same preset, but I just changed the category of each one of them so they would sound different from each other. But the exact preset that I used is this, and you can find the easily just going to strings, ensemble, violins, and you got the second one here. And this is the first violin melody that I made. So for this violin, I chose the F sharp 3 category that I don't know what that is, but it's probably the sustained violin or something. And as you guys could hear, it can't play notes above, I think, E. And it can play notes below A, so it changes the category. And that's pretty much it for the first violin melody that I made. And now for the second violin melody that I made. So for this violin, I actually used the tremolo violin category that is on E3 and I will explain what I did to the notes later once I'm going to be like covering the music theory behind the sample. But for now, that's just the sound selections and that's pretty much it for the second violin melody that I made. And now for the third violin melody that I made on this sample. So for this violin, I use the F3 category. So the first one was on F sharp, this one is on F3, and the other one was on E3. So they are on different categories. So I could make all of the violins sound different from each other. And that's pretty much it for the third violin melody that I made. And now for the fourth violin melody that I made on this sample. So for this violin melody, I use the D3 uh, category, which plays the violin on like the Piscato category. And that's pretty much it for the violins that I made on this sample. So even though this is a good sample and those are good sound selections, they are not the best for when you are trying to make a salsa type melody. So now I will be showing you the exact context library that produces like Sakai and Henny Major, as I said, members of 808 Mafia always use when they are sending out fire samples for Salsage. So I will be showing you some examples of when they use this context library and then I will show you the name of the preset and the name of the context library. So this is a Sakai melody and this is the first example. And you can easily remake that counter melody by making this pattern here and by using this preset called Gypsy Romantic Violin from the Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. And this is how it sounds like. So now for the second example, this is a Sakai melody again, and this is how it sounds like. And you can easily remake the counter melody by making this pattern here and by using the same preset and the same context library. And this is how it sounds like. And now this is the third example and this is a Sakai melody again and this is how it sounds like.
So it is pretty easy for you to remake that counter melody and you can hear a counter melody being played here with the strange violin and here. So, so you can make the first counter melody by actually using a different preset but with the same context library. It is the gypsy violin from the Balkan Ethnic Orchestra and this is how it sounds like. And for the second part of the of this melody here, he just used the Gypsy Romantic Violin again from the Balkan Ethnic Orchestra and he made this melody. And now for the fourth example, and this is a Henny Major melody. And you can easily remake the counter melody by making this pattern here and by using this preset from Balkan Ethnic Orchestra, the Gypsy Violin, again. And this is how it sounds like. So now for the fifth example, and this is a Henny Major melody again, and this is how it sounds like. <laughs> And you can easily remake the counter melody by using that gypsy violin preset and by making this pattern. And now for the sixth example, and this is another Henny Major melody, and this is how it sounds like. And you can easily remake the counter melody by making this pattern and by using the gypsy violin preset again. And this is exactly how it sounds like. And now for the last example. This is another Henny Major melody and this is how it sounds like. And you can easily remake that counter melody by making this pattern here and by using the gypsy violin preset again. And this is exactly how it sounds like. So if you are trying to make Southside type samples, make sure you are using the Balkan Ethnic Orchestra and use one of the two violin presets because they are very, very, very good. And that's not it for the examples. That's it for the Henny Major examples. But now I will be showing on the screen some snippets that you can hear Sakai using this context library again. <laughs> And that's pretty much it for the exact context library that Sakai and Henny Major use when they are sending out samples for Southside. And now for the music theory behind this sample. So I started this melody out with the A harmonic minor scale. And the A harmonic minor scale, not the A harmonic minor, but the harmonic minor scale is the best scale for when you're trying to make Southside type melodies because it is very dark and because it is very tense. And it is very tense because you got notes that are very, very, very close together. So if you, I just grab the minor scales and put it side by side with the harmonic minor scales, you will see what I'm talking about. So I have all the minor scales side by side and you can see that the harmonic minor scale, which is the first, has more notes that are close together than the melodic minor, 
they only has two and the Aeolian that only has two and this little difference between the scales is what makes the harmonic minor more tense than other scales so that's pretty much it for why i use the harmonic minor and now for the first violin melody that i made on this sample so this is how it sounds like So for this category that I chose to make this counter melody, I can't actually play notes that are above E and notes that are below A because it is on a different category. So I had this half an octave range so I could make this violin counter melody. So that's pretty much it on why I used that scale. And now for the first violin melody that I made on this sample. So this is how it sounds like. So as I said, this category can play notes below my bed above E and it can't actually play notes below A because it starts playing on a different category. So I had this half in a range octave so I could make this violin counter melody, but this wasn't actually a problem because my whole goal with this counter melody was to make a very, very, very catchy counter melody. And for you to make a very catchy counter melody, you need to use notes they are very close together and you can see that I did exactly that on this counter melody here. More on those notes here. And that was my whole idea when I was making this violin counter melody, making it as catchy as possible. So once I had that violin counter melody, I started making those violin chords and they playing together sound like this. So my whole idea with the violin chords here was to just fill up the mid frequencies on this sample so the whole sample could sound fuller. I didn't follow too much like a music theory when I was making those chords here. They are pretty random but my whole idea when I was making them was to make the counter melody stand out. That's why I made the velocities lower and all of that and I just chose to use chords that weren't too tense when the melody was going down on pitch and when the counter melody was going up on pitch, I chose to use chords that were higher on pitch and that were closer to each other than making them more tense. And that's pretty much it for my whole idea when I was making those violin chords. So after I had the first violin melody and the second violin melody, which is the one with the chords, I chose to add this pizzicato melody and all of them playing together sounds like this. So my whole idea with this piscato melody is what it was like. Because I used two instruments that were pretty much the same, like I used two sustained violins, for the counter melody and for the chords, I didn't want this melody to sound too blend. So I wanted to add something that was a little bit on a different texture than the violins. That's why I use this category, like the piscato that sound like a pluck. And I just made this melody copying most of the notes of the counter melody. Just this note that is a little bit off. I don't remember why, but my whole goal was to just make something a little bit more different on a different texture. So I could make this whole melody a little bit more interesting. So that's pretty much it for the first half of this melody. And for the second half, I added this other violin counter melody, which is my favorite part of this sample. And that sounds like this. So my whole idea with this was to make the, like the second half of this melody way more interesting and I didn't need it to do too much with the notes because the sound selection was so cool like the violin tremolo like without halftime it sounds like this.
so it sounds pretty awful but with the halftime it sounds very 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 good and my whole idea was to make just the second half of this melody way more interesting and i chose to use those notes here because if i didn't they sounded kind of, kind of weird as you can like hear They sound a little bit fuller, I don't know why. When you are making melodies with the halftime turned on, you will make something that doesn't look right, but it sounds right, you know? And that's pretty much it for the whole music theory behind this sample. But one thing that I forgot and I just remembered now is that I chose to use 85 BPM on this melody because the BPMs that Southside always goes for would be 150 to 170 and 85 bpm times 2 is 170 bpm and that's pretty much it for the music theory and now for the mixing and mastering process that i use on this sample so it's starting off with the mixing so when you start mixing your melodies make sure you follow those steps make sure you first add the effects and then change the levels and then change the panning and the stereo and it is very important for you to follow those uh, steps because if you try to level first your sounds and then add effects like reverbs and eqs you will see that the reverbs and eqs will actually change the levels that you set up on your leveling so it will just mess up every single thing that you did on your leveling so make sure you first add the effects and then change the levels so for the effects on this melody they are very 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 basic i just added like the halftime on the tremolo violin and for all of these sounds i just used a reverb so i could make them sound more ambient and that's pretty much it and sound as if they were played on a orchestra and one tip for you when you are trying to add reverbs is for you to add on every sound that you want to add reverbs you add a reverb that has the same size high cut and low cut so they can sound as if they are playing on the exact same room and that's actually pretty much it for the effects and for the panning i just put the counter melody and the piscato more to the right because the piscato was playing on like the mid frequencies while the the second violin was actually it was playing too much on the left side of my speakers because philharmonic already bends the the sounds as you can see and i just wanted to have the second violin to be more on the center so that's why i just turned it more to the right because philharmonic just put it a little bit to the left so i am confusing this a little bit too much but i hope you could understand it and that's pretty much it and when it comes to the mastering i didn't add anything but that's something that it is very wrong that i did on your masters make sure you always add compressors so you can make your melody sound very 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 glued together on this melody in particular i didn't want to add a compressor because i thought my levels were already very very solid because i already took a lot of time just changing and and leveling my sounds and that's honestly pretty much it after i had all of that i just clicked here press alt r render it on uh, this sample and then just pitch it a lot down and normalize it and the final product sounds like this. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial until the very 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 end if you could learn something from it make sure you leave a like and leave down on the comments some ideas for next videos or some feedback being that good or bad so i can improve on my own tutorials so thank you so much for watching again and i hope to see you on the next tutorial